what things add to our bottom line? Well, we had to give an estimate to the client, right? So now we pray that the shop knows what that estimate was and the estimate is somewhat accurate. Now, if you say, let's say, let's give an example in our signage industry, uh, we build uh, channel letters. That's the very basic sign that we send out. When you build the channel letters, you have cut the faces, cut the backs, bend the returns, or what we call the sides of the letter. Uh, put the faces onto the returns, usually via trim cap or some other form. Populate them with LEDs, paint them if necessary, stage them up for quality control, send them out to the job site, and then go ahead and do the installation. If you gave your team the different departments, you know, your five, seven, ten different departments, I say you get two hours, you get one hour, you get three hours, is it accurate? You know, if you only give them one hour and take them four hours, where well, you're going to lose money because you based off one hour. So your, your estimate needs to be accurate. But at some point in time, your estimate is going to get pretty darn accurate. And now we're going to have a, a place to hold the line to the guys in the shop. It should take you four hours. Please only do four hours. And then at the end, let's see where you're at. Now inside of SquareCore, we have a labor analysis, very simple, one click of a button, and it'll show you uh, estimated four hours took us 4.5. Estimated five hours took us three hours. And we can see when we're on budget. But that was one of the, one of the great measurements there is we can see if it was a one-time anomaly if they went over budget, or this is a consistent, they're going over budget every single time. If they're consistently going over budget, that's an estimator problem. If they're only going over budget every once in a while, that's an employee problem on how they're not building the sign correctly or not hitting the numbers. And you need to be able to decipher between the two of them. That's a really good metric for you guys to look at. What other things do you want to see as an owner hitting your bottom line? I would say turnover would be a big one. Now turnover, that's in every company. I mean, I remember back in the day when I was worked in the lumber yard, they wanted to know how many days that stick of lumber is going to sit on that shelf before it got sold. On average, it was like, I think 109 days was their turnover of all the lumber inside of their lumber shed. For us, once a job is sold, how long before it gets put on the wall and turned into money? Well, that's a metric that I would like to know. On average, I think ours is... Well, before COVID, it was 65 days. Now it's about 110, 120 days, thanks to the cities and municipalities and all the permits. So unfortunately, we do have some things that are out of our control that add to that turnover rate. But for those metrics, what, for how, you know, what's your turnover? How fast are you turning over that product and get it back to the client? I feel like the longer the turnover rate, the more that client's going to get cranky because they feel they're not important. 